hear that? Uh, so apparently Liverpool were going for Jude Bellingham. Oh, dude. But they they've apparently dude. pulled out. Dude, can I react to that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll make the title of the video. Reynoso reacts yeah. to Bellingham news. <laughs> Shocking, bro. But at the same time, it was. Let me just for people who didn't see the news. It was confirmed by multiple reliable Liverpool journalists that the pursuit for Bellingham will essentially come short. Will essentially end here with Liverpool saying that they'd rather have multiple alternative and multiple options for the midfield, say three or four different options, instead of putting all that money on one player Mm -hmm. and this has yielded a lot of interesting reactions across the Liverpool fan base a lot of people thinking that this is a guy that you invest in for 10 15 years you pay the big salary now and you just go for it especially given the fact that we put in so much money into Darwin Nunez and Cody Gakpo we do have the funds for it bro so why not go for it why not and other people saying that maybe this is the right approach because we do need more than one fix in that midfield. We need, we do need more than one player. And if we could get multiple options, say, for example, uh, Barella, for example, mm. a player that's more a level below what Bellingham is but still very, very reliable, yeah. Mason Mount, for example, might be more smart to do that in the long haul versus just going all in on one player. And I'm honestly in the fucking middle, man. I'm in the middle because I was truly disappointed by the fact that that Bellingham approach ended because despite us having this abysmal season, something that has carried me throughout was just knowing that Liverpool is genuinely interested in going for Jude. And Jude himself has shown interest in return. And so it just kind of seemed like he was one of those players that just had the stars written out for him. It just said Liverpool up in the sky. And he would just look at it every night and know that despite us having this terrible midfield, he'd be the solution. He'd be the midfield savior, the Steven Gerrard heir, if you will. Mm. And to have that all just come to an end because we're just too scared to go for it, that hurts, bro. That hurts. And ultimately, I think it's the wrong decision because he's a generational talent in that position. This podcast knows that when it comes to players under the age of 20 years old, I think Bellingham is the best. Yeah, yeah. And so for me as a fan, would have been the perfect fit for what we need. I'm just skeptical because I know that we need more than one replacement, but I also want the one guy that I know for sure will be an incredible generational talent. So I'm in the middle, man. I'm in the middle. We need three fucking midfielders, but if we could get one of them to be Jude Bellingham, the other two to be class, Moises Caicedo, for example, or McAllister, if you will, that would be incredible. That'd be the solution right there. And I feel like giving up on Bellingham right off the bat just puts us in a really, really weird spot. Yeah. No, wow. That, yeah, great fucking take. Great opinions. What really puts me, what really rubs me the wrong way about Liverpool stopping conversations with Jude Bellingham is that in turn Bellingham will then go to their rival in Manchester City or maybe somehow Chelsea you you know what I mean Real Madrid right maybe Real Madrid but I do think that Bellingham's gonna go to the Premier League and if Liverpool don't get him then that means he's going to go to one of their rivals and it's just going to double down on the damage if Bellingham ends up being a fucking star in the Prem bro yeah. And there's a really good chance because he's an exceptional midfielder. I feel like it'd be it would take a lot for him to just outright fail in any league. And if Liverpool don't get him and they see him week in, week out perform for another Premier oh, League team, it'd just God. be like that, that, that is a waste. Yeah. Like regardless of the money that you have to spend on a player like Bellingham, it's a waste to not get him if he goes to your direct rival. That's what I don't like about it. And if they don't get has good replacements again as you're saying let's say instead of just one good player they get three solid players what if they all turn out to just be okay man yeah. like i mean for example look at keita yeah. keita was a really good player at leipzig but he's been plagued by injuries and he will always be plagued by injuries for the rest of his life bro <laughs> and it didn't work out yeah. like not, not only did it not work out he's not playable it's that bad and if you get other players like Keita, who, by the way, was in his prime when they got him, mm-hmm. you're, you're done for. Mm-hmm. But Bellingham has proved his worth. He's proved that he can play in the best of situations with a really good Dortmund team against really good opponents in the Bundesliga, in the Champions League. He's proved that he can play. So Liverpool should go for him. And I, th- I do think it's disappointing for me that they're just not even going to consider so it anymore. So disappointing. I really hope that they can... 
I don't know if I got to sign like a petition, if I got to donate, if I got to <laughs> send a Venmo to someone, we can maybe as fans all band together yeah. and send Liverpool some money, man, because this has to be done, bro. It has to be done. If we see him in a fucking Man City jersey or a Chelsea jersey or any other squad in the Prem, because being that he is English, I do see him in the Prem. You're right about that. Mm. If we see him in any other team, man, that's going to hurt every single time we see him yeah. play, bro. Yeah. It's going to fucking hurt. And I'm honestly just FSG themselves. I'm very, very critical of because I think they might have gotten lucky with how well a lot of their signings went these past few years. And now we're trying. Now we're starting to see the true colors of this management and how their unwillingness to take a risk and truly go for it ends up plaguing them and ends up resulting in Liverpool having these really, really disappointing seasons. Yeah.